hello beautiful souls welcome to my newest pick a card reading and this one is titled why are you beautiful so your inner and your outer beauty so today I'm gonna have you choose between these three options today the options you have are this heart earring for number one for number two is this ring and number three is this golden strawberry so just go ahead and pick the image you're most drawn to also if you are new to pick a card readings you just choose the pile that you're most drawn to like I said and there will be timestamps in the description box as well as the comments usually you can just click the little timestamp and it will take you to your pick if not you can just fast forward to where it's indicated also I'm going to be pulling some magazine clippings to add some emphasis on the reading and some extra messages for you guys so I'll see you guys at your pick hello those of you who chose number one the heart earring this reading is for you guys so the first card you got is your planet card and it says Chiron your healing power empathy and the ability to teach or learn remedies so your healing a power your healing abilities is what makes you so attractive people are just drawn to you they have a sense whether they are conscious or unconscious of it that you can heal them that you can help them heal so this is probably one of your powers you're probably an empath or very empathic um, you probably have this extreme healing ability about you because you went through hard times in your life and you were able to heal yourself or you're currently in the process of healing yourself so this makes you super attractive to others when others are around you they just feel a sense of calm and peace and oneness with you um, so this makes you very very attractive as well as you see there's a child here you kind of have like a childlike essence but still a protector spirit essence with you because there's a man and he's protecting the child but I feel like this is you as one being so you may be very light carefree and um, childlike but you have this protector spirit behind you this warrior spirit this was probably developed due to all of your trials that you've overcome so you are very sweet and pure but very strong as well and so this makes you very very attractive Let's get a magazine clipping for you guys to go along with the card. And you got friends may appear. Yeah, like I said, people will be drawn to you. People are drawn to you due to your healing powers. That's why people just kind of appear out of nowhere and probably tell you all their prob your problems. And um, you just have a way of giving them some peace. Okay. So let's check out your next card. And this is your flower card, so I'm going to read the magical properties of the card, okay? So you have Dotra. And the magical specialties are astral travel, concealment, invisibility, discernment, divination, enchantment, and magical power. Yeah, you're attractive because you uh, just seem magical. You have an enchantment about you. You're very enchanting. You're very alluring. Um, you're mysterious. You're someone that people can't figure out super easily. It's like how she's looking into the ball. It's like you can see things that others can't see. And this makes you very attractive. People see you as very wise and um, sweet. Very sweet. Your attractive is because you have a window to see positivity in things for others when they're going through hard times. Like I said, that healing ability. You're able to open up the window for others so they can see the truth or see kind of that light at the end. A physical trait may be how you do your hair. You can see how her hair is done up very pretty. So I think people admire your hair, whether you're male or female, just the way you do it, the way you accessorize it, um, the way you style it. And people are drawn to that. And there's a lot of purple here, so that means like royalty. People see you as someone very special, very... Uh, 
my queenly, kingly, just very, someone you respect. Okay, let's get a magazine clipping to go along here. And we got the road to bliss. Yeah, people see you as the road to bliss. So you're attractive because you bring bliss to others, which just enhances the attraction of others to you on a, a physical level and a spiritual and emotional level. You know, you have the energy of being the road to bliss, the road to comfort. You're a very comforting person. That makes sense with the heart. It's a very heart-based person. And then we have inner child, like I said, right here. Look, because there was a child here. It's that innocence. It's that um, carefree nature about you, that wild spirit. The You probably still love like cartoons, just childlike things. You're probably still into them. And you get excited over the small things in life. And um, you just have a childlike energy about you, an innocence about you. But you know, you know you're far from innocent because you have that beautiful uh, warrior healing power. So let's see what else we get with this from the magazine clippings. Big talent. Yeah, you're attractive due to your big talent. Whatever that is, you know what it is that you're gifted in. And that makes you very attractive. People are attracted to you due to this talent. This is kind of what draws others in. This could just be your, that healing power of yours or something that you do um, as a hobby or a passion. This is what makes you very attractive when you're doing this. This is when you're the most attractive, doing your passions and your hobbies and expressing your talents and gifts and, you know, just playing around, being that inner child. Okay, and then we have cycles. You're attractive because you are somebody who is not afraid of the cycles of life. The ups, the downs. It's like you just kind of roll with the punches. It's you roll with the waves. You experience life on every level. You know that the downtime serve a purpose and you know that the uptime serve a purpose. And this makes you very attractive. People find you super attractive due to just them witnessing how well you handle life and how you carry yourself through life. And how you're constantly changing and evolving. See how the movie is changing and evolving and and this is one of the things that makes you very attractive. Now let's pull a magazine. What do we want change? Yeah, that goes along with cycles. Like you're not afraid of change. You're somebody who embraces change. You're not afraid of these cycles. And what do we want change? It says you're somebody who wants change in the world and you want to make an impact and this makes you very attractive. Um, whether you're male or female, you're probably very in touch with your feminine energy due to the moon being in the reading as well. Alright, and then we have manifestation. Turn desires into reality by activating the power of manifestation. So yeah, very magical, like right here, kind of the same kind of deal. It's like you're able to, you're very magical. People see you as very powerful, somebody who can bring what they want into their life very easily. This makes you very attractive. People want to learn from you. They're very intrigued by you and how you live your life because seem, things seem to be just flow easily for you. You may seem quote unquote lucky, but it's not that you're lucky. It's just that you are able to accept life as it is and you try to live in a positive vibration a positive mindset through any circumstances and so you're very admired and looked up to now I haven't said a lot of physical things but red hills could be here I was attracted to the hills or red hills in general uh, this makes you very attractive maybe short little dresses this one kinda comes up the leg if you're female um, just the way you dress it may be very sexy to others, whether it's in this way or not. It's the way you dress is very attractive. Um, again, with the hair, how the hair is always done differently and unique and decorated, see? 
Yeah, let's draw a magazine clipping. You may have dark brown curly hair as well for some. People love your curls. Let's see. Dream. Yeah, you're able to manifest your dreams. You're a dreamer. And this is what makes you very attractive. People see your dreamy like nature. You're just this mysterious person. But like a dreamy essence, it could be like Scorpio or for the mysterious part or even Pisces for that dreamy like state. Doesn't necessarily have to be. All right, now we have shielding. You're attractive because you are not afraid to stand up for yourself. You're not afraid to guard yourself from things that, you know, could hurt you. You're not afraid to take care of yourself and be your own best friend. Like I said, you're also somebody that helps others see things in the right way. It's like this person doesn't want to look at something, but you're somebody that comes in and helps them look at it in the right way so they can accept it. That's kind of your healing power once again. Um, let's see what else we get here. Feather, and I was just thinking angels. So it's like you, this reminds me of the angels. You have like an angelic protection, protective aura. Also again with the protecting, with the cry on the healing, how I said you're the protector. You're going to protect others and shield others as well as yourself. So not only do you exude this energy of protecting yourself and setting boundaries for yourself, but you kind of are that angel in others' lives and that's what makes you so attractive. You have a very light energy, light like a feather. Um, yeah, that's what makes you so attractive, that protective. People feel safe with you. And then we have by the book. You're attractive because you are a leader. People follow you. People want to follow you. Like I was saying earlier, you're somebody that people want to follow because your way of life, your way of living is so inspiring and mystical and kind of mysterious and they want to they want to be led by you. You're kind of that leader. That's what makes you attractive, that leader quality about you. And then we have poetry. And that also went by the book. So maybe you're also a writer or the way you express yourself if it's not written. Something with the word. Um, your words are very powerful. Your words are very attractive. You help people unlock their hearts with your words here. And then we have the sun. So your happiness, that you're full. Like I said, at any moment, you're just living in that moment. You're always full and content with the way that life is. You just, you are such a happy person or you radiate so much happiness. And this bring, draws people in or drawn into your light, your beautiful light. Yeah, so you got the caring connection card, yes, your light brings people together. It's your empathy, it's your compassion, it's your your love for others. The happiness that you bring others. This is what makes you so attractive. Also again with the long curly black hair as a physical attribute. You're somebody that they know if they need to hug or to be held or to be comforted that, that you're that person. Ooh, then we got moonlight again with the moon. The cycles, the changes, your ability to connect with yourself and realize what path you need to take, what needs to be changed and helping others realize um, ways and outlets for change that'll bring a lot more lightness to their lives. Begin with the mystery, just the dark black sky, like what is out there. You're just kind of a mysterious person. This makes you very alluring and very attractive. People want to figure you out. They want to get to know you. They want to figure out what's out there. 
what is truly there within you what else is on this card on the side of her yeah time here you're attractive because you allow time to create the change needed for healing let's see what else we get Ooh, warrior be light healing power are you kidding me <laughs> yes guys so you heard it you are the warrior like I said in the beginning you're the protector you're the light you're the healer your first card was the healer so you're attractive because you are that healer and we all need some healing and you are it you are it you're the healer you are light people are attracted to your light and your happiness and your way of being like I said, you're an angel to others. Look at this guy, and he's got his like entourage of angels. It's like your gifts are like an entourage of angels that help people heal. That is so amazing, guys. I love, love, love you guys so much. I love you guys. Okay, and your last card is beginnings. So, yeah, you are somebody who is great at starting new beginnings letting the old die like I said and and just bringing new beginnings for people people are attracted to you because they see you as the new beginning you're gonna help them reach their destination to the new beginning and see as she's out looking at the Sun and it says that you are the Sun so they're just attracted to your light your warmth your love and your ability to help them see things in a new perspective that brings on this these beautiful new beginnings for people. You are very n needed in the world, for sure. You're a very beautiful person. Ooh, then we have Born to be Wild. Yeah, you're that wild, untamed spirit. You got that inner child activated, but you will not play. You will protect those that you love. But you were born to be free. You were born to be wild. And people find that so attractive about you is that you're so free. You're, you know, you're not chained by anything. You're just so free. People love this. Maybe you act a little wild sometimes. People love this about you. They love your freeness. All right, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And comment down below if this is you. Did any of this resonate for you? Because I love you guys so much. We, I appreciate all the healers in the world. And um, you're needed. All right. Those of you who chose number two, the ring. This reading is for you guys. So let's find out why you're so beautiful inner and outer beauty the first one was lots of inner beauty so it might just come out that way um i tend to focus a whole lot more on inner beauty but there were some outer beauty things going on there as well so just keep that in mind that might happen with this one we don't know let's find out all right so we have the moon your unconscious sensitive inner emotions and responses this is what makes you attractive your sensitive nature, your inner emotions, the way you respond to things emotionally. Your internal world is very attractive. How you express how you're feeling inside, how you deal with the emotions, how you deal with the feelings, your depth, you're probably a water sign. All right, let's get a magazine clipping to go along with this card. And we have the right price for advice. You, may, you might be attractive because people come to you for advice, often. It's like you are always there for advice. You're a good advice giver. You're a good director for others. Maybe when it involves the emotions, maybe you're a therapist, you know what I mean? Or a counselor, or maybe this is some of your strongest traits that you're unaware of. But yeah, just dealing with the unconscious, your inner emotions, your inner world, your responses. This is talking about like, people kind of see you as the therapist. Also for a physical trait, you could have long black hair as well. Um, not seeing a whole lot of physical attributes in this card, but yeah, you are like the counselor. You're the, the therapist. All right, and then we have Black Eyed Susan. So I'm gonna read off some traits that go along with this card. Alright guys, it says, 
cleansing and releasing. Connecting with transitioned loved ones, grounding, integration, and mediumship. So you may be a medium or have a very strong connection with the other side. Um, you're probably like on the physical attribute, this one's got it going on. So if you're a woman, you're probably, your breasts are very attractive because this woman's breasts are definitely emphasized in this card, which is unlike a lot of tarot cards. So I'm saying this is probably for you guys, probably very curvy. This is a very attractive quality in you, but it's your earthy nature. You're probably very natural. You probably have a natural look to you, very attractive as well. And you're just grounded in nature, your connection your stability, your balance. Yes, the curvy, just your naturalness, your natural curves, you you're just have a natural glow about you, but it's definitely your body. Your body's banging. If you're a guy or a girl, your natural curves, your naturalness of you is very attractive. Now let's pull a magazine clipping for you guys. Ooh, you got the monkey. So this is like all your ideas, how creative you are, how how much you got going on in your head, your mind. Your mind is super attractive. So not only do you got the body, but you got the mind, okay? So you have a banging body, and you also have a super amazing mind that can make connections with things and just super intelligence. So your mind and your body. And that's probably how you're able to give this great advice from the inner emotions. You're a therapist, you're good for people, you have a great body, you have a beautiful mind. You guys seem amazing. And then you got creative expression. So the way you express yourself creatively is so attractive. Long red hair if you have it. It's a confirmation here that long, long red hair or black hair was in the other one. Um, your ability to just transform things, how you can take something and nothing and make something. You're so creative. And your creative expression, so whether that be art or however it is that you express yourself creatively. Alright, so let's pull you a magazine clipping. Self-improvement. So you are attractive because you're always working on yourself. You're not somebody who has too much pride to not realize areas where they need to be mended in order to be the best version of yourself. So this makes you very attractive. People love how you're on that self-improvement journey and your creative expression and your transformation. You probably have went through a huge transformation in your life where you were definitely not that person anymore that you used to be, that you transformed from. You're nothing like it. It's like whole new being because of all these butterflies. So probably multitudes of transformations for you guys. And that's that self-improvement because you wanted to improve yourself. That's due to those transformations. Meditation. Okay, so right away your hands are very attractive for some reason. It's just beautiful hands. Any kind of tattoos or artwork on your body is very attractive as well as I'm seeing in this picture. And your calm nature. Okay, that meditative nature. Um, how it almost seems like, it's like you have all these ideas, but it's like, it's almost as if you're always at peace. So it's like you're never thinking. It's just when they, they just come to you at the right moment. Let's get a magazine clipping. Pass the love on. Yes, you're a very giving person. You want to share your love with others, and this makes you super attractive. People see you as a giver. Um, you may get taken advantage of due to this fact sometimes because you are so giving and so open to love. Okay, and so some people might try to take advantage of that fact because you are so kind and you and you want to share love with everyone. Okay, and then we have aura. A healthy aura keeps your energy in balance and in harmony. You're attractive because you are in balance. You are in harmony with life and people see you as balanced. Um, as in like physical attributes, it's probably the way you accessorize. I see she has a really cute purse. Um, probably very interesting clothing. Probably very big into fashion in some way and if not you probably have a very unique way of dressing uh, but yeah just very clean um, energy to you very balanced people know they can come to you for balance and um, you are very balanced so let's see what else we get okay guys 
cool you got the butterfly which totally goes with the reading and there's a little quote here and it says change before you have to change in other words before new realities and forces beyond your control compel you to do so so to do so so you can survive so yeah you're an advocate of change you, you know that change keeps you healthy and balanced, and that's what makes you so attractive. Your transformations make you so attractive. Look how beautiful this butterfly is after all the steps. So after all the steps you've made to change yourself and transform yourself into this beautiful, color but colorful butterfly, people notice. Whether they express it or not, they notice it. Okay, you are gorgeous inner and outer your your inner is just expressing on the outer now due to all this inner work you did and now it's just exuding itself on the outside because you're balanced and in harmony with yourself and your purpose i love it guys all right think about it so this card is generally mostly white. So I'm going to say, yeah, you're just balanced, pure. You're not holding a lot onto a, a lot of negativity or if any at all. You're really pure and fresh and cleansed. You're attractive because people see you as just a pure spirit, a clean, a clean soul. Just somebody that is just not going to harm them. Somebody who is super kind. Somebody who just wants to love. Again, with the hair, it could be curly and brown as well, but I see the hair emphasized again. But yeah, people just see you as somebody who, and like I said, it says, think about it. That also confirms all the ideas, the beautiful ideas that you have as well. And then we have key. They see you, you know, um, you're somebody that's beautiful because it's like you have the keys and the answers to everything like with that creative nature you're able to come up with things very quickly um, you have the key to everything it's like you have access to everything um, very easily like if there's a problem you can create a solution just like that I would say this key is the solution you're easy at coming up with solutions thinking about things and creating uh, solutions to the obstacles that's because you don't have anything blocking you because you're just so, you've cleansed yourself so much and transformed yourself so much. And then we have a message in a bottle. I'm taking this as you're a deep communicator because this is the phone in, the, in deep in the ocean. So you're a deep communicator when it comes to the emotions because water to me represents emotion. Okay, and you're also a deep thinker because the bird is here up in the sky, which represents thought to me. So you have deep emotional motion, but also high intelligence. And this makes you super attractive. People just want to talk to you. People could talk to you all day. They love the way you communicate. Um, you're very creative in the way you communicate and express yourself. People, people want more of it. You're fun to talk to. People love to talk to you. And then you have beyond great expectations. Yeah, you are beyond great expectations. You're attractive because you're just extreme and, or beyond in everything. You do the best in everything. You go above and beyond in everything that you do. And again, with the balance, the mind and the heart, the emotional. So you got this balanced. And you're very advanced in both. And you have a great way to express this beyond great expectations. So this might be a part of your purpose as well. But this makes you so attractive. People just love the way you are. And then we got broken heart. So you may be you're attractive because people might see you as somebody who could really break their heart. Because you're someone who can really love. And they know if they could be loved by you, that it, it could break their heart. So that makes you attractive. It's like, wow, that's somebody that really could love me. But at the same time, if they really could love you, they really could break your heart as well. Because it would be a true love. So it's like you have this intimidating presence about you. Even though you are seen as such a loving person, people don't know if they can handle that level of love. Because they're afraid to get their heart broke. Because it's a deep level of love that you exude. Interesting. I like that, guys. And then you have designing tomorrow. Yeah, you're a forward thinker. You see you're, you're already in the future with your ideas and your thoughts and how you view, uh, how you're centered. 
and you're creating something that's going to be big in the future and people are drawn to that part of you. You're attracted because you have a plan for your future. You want success. You're mapping out and creating a strategy. People are really drawn to that because you seem to have everything all together because that's a very attractive quality in you. Okay, and then we got Spark. Yes, this talks about creativity again. Could be music because here she is in, uh, playing music with hearts coming out. So your creativity, whatever it is that you create, is beautiful. And this draws people in. This makes you very attractive. More butterflies. So the trans you transform people through your creativity. Whatever your creative arts is. You create a spark for them. You inspire. You're that spark for others. And that makes you so attractive. It's like, wow, this person can totally inspire me. You, by just being you, are totally inspiring. You may dye your hair colorful colors, because this woman here has green hair. So you could dye your hair kind of crazy in wild colors as well. I know I keep always mentioning the hair, but I'm going to point out every hair color to see if it fits with anyone, um, if it's emphasized here. But yeah, you're that spark of intuition. Or not intuition, inspiration. Oh, let's see what magazine clipping you got. Independent. Yeah, you're very independent. And this is super attractive. Like I said, designing tomorrow. You know what you want and you don't need anybody to get you there. You are dependent solely upon yourself. I mean, if others join you along your journey, awesome. Added bonuses, but you don't need anyone to be you, to be successful, to be creative, to be yourself. And you're dependent solely upon yourself. And if you have others come along, that's great. And you embrace that, but you don't need that. You don't even want for that. And you know that you don't need it. And that's awesome. All right, and the last card is empathy. So your beautiful empathy for others, your ability to relate with others, um, your ability to have heart-centered uh, connections with others, heart-centered conversations with others. Um, yeah, you definitely emphasize with others very easily. You could be an empath. If you're an empath, comment down below. Then we have earn extra money with the side hustles. So people level how you hustle. This makes you super attractive, how you grind, how you get your money. People find this very attractive about you as do, as well as your ability to connect with others. So your side hustle could do, to do something to do with empathizing with others, connecting with others, other people or the community. And you can make money doing this and it's what you're naturally good at. It's your natural state is to be very empathic. People love you because they know that they can come to you if they're going through a rough time and you're totally going to put yourself in their shoes and understand and empathize with them and help them brainstorm ideas. You are great. And we need more people like you. And I'm so glad you enjoyed my reading today. And if you would like to see more videos like this, comment down below more vids like this. Or go ahead and subscribe to the channel because then you'll already be notified. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright, those of you who chose number three, the strawberry. This reading is for you guys. So, so far the reading has been amazing. Uh, for the other two so let's find out what about you is so attractive so the first card you got is your planet card and it says Neptune your fantasies yearnings longings and potential for illusion so you're you're just daydreamy you are dreamy you know how like um, in the older movies like the ladies would be like oh that guy is dreamy you're dreamy male female you are just dreamy you're dreamlike like you are unbelievable people see you and they're just like wow no way is she or he real. This has to be a dream. You're just dreamy. Fantasy-like. Mystical-like. You almost seem like an illusion. Too good to be true kind of attractive. So people are drawn to this because you're dreamy. You seem like that like, way too good to be true. You're just, wow. You're, not, you're probably very beautiful um, externally as well. And then your magazine clipping says all the world is a stage. So yeah, like all eyes on you. When you walk in the room, all eyes are on you. So you must be very physically attractive. Or you might just have this energy about you that just, whoop, all eyes on me instantly. Like the Britney Spears song, 
everything, everywhere you go, it's like pe you're just your people are drawn to you, all eyes on you. You are, um, you could be a performer as well, but you, that's why you're so attractive. Is just some essence about you that is super dreamy that people want to figure out. So the next card is your flower card, and I'm going to read off the magical properties of the flower, and they're going to describe you. So you have Agapanthus, authority. So you're attractive because you demand authority. Like I said, when you walk in, you're the boss. And then confidence. You have an extreme amount of confidence, which instantly makes anyone attractive. As soon as you gain confidence, you will be seen more attractive by others, guaranteed. So you're already seen on a very high attractive level due to your confidence, your elegance. You seem so graceful and elegant and put together. Excellence. People see you as supreme excellence. And it's very attractive. The way that you always do your best. You always put your best foot forward intelligence so your intelligence is very attractive your intuition and inner knowing so your connection with self is super attractive your knowledge of your own divinity and self mastery so just the knowledge of your own divinity knowledge of the divine essence within yourself this is what makes you so attractive um, you're very powerful and that one might be what makes you so dreamy, is just you just are connected and in touch with you. And then the magazine clipping you got is eat smarter, eat healthier. So you're probably very health conscious when it comes to eating. Um, and this is what makes you so attractive. Or you have the ability to look as though you eat smart and healthy when you don't. It's something of that sense. If you don't, that you have the ability to look as if you do or you actually do and you're very health conscious and this makes you very attractive because it's going to make your mind and your body work better and your body definitely will look better due to eating healthier. So I like it guys. Let's see what else we got. Rise above problems. You're attractive because you don't really get too caught up in the drama. You're not the one in the gossip. You're not the one calling everyone and telling them they're your problems. You rise above. You see them from a different angle, a different aspect. You're not really somebody who gets caught up in the dramas of life. You're able to just kind of rise above, see the situation for what it is, and then find a solution. And people find this very attractive about you because a lot of people do get hung up and caught up in their problems. And you're somebody who can just kind of... Mm -hmm. see it as it is and don't let your emotions kind of sway you and then we have dating um yeah you are definitely a wanted item like i said you walk in people notice you dating um you're attractive due to i feel like this is you rise above problems when you're dating somebody this makes you attractive to your partner as well. It's like you don't, you're not the crazy girlfriend that goes all wild when there's an issue. You are able to rise above it and kind of look at it and help you and your partner. And when you're dating someone, when you're with somebody, um, when you're starting to get to know somebody, you're able to, like I said again, rise above the problems. You're a good person to date. This makes you super attractive. Um, people want to date you due to this. They're like, okay, she's not going to be, he or she's not going to be drama. She's able to kind of disconnect from her emotions and look at the situation logically when necessary. And this makes you a wanted item. People do want to date you because of this aspect. Because a lot of us, I know, need to work on this. <laughs> so go you. You're very wanted. And the healthy eating, I love it because, <laughs> look, you guys got the little strawberry. So that makes sense. And then you got differences. So you're attractive because you're different. You are different. You're not like the rest. You're totally unique. Okay, so others look at you, say there's a black one and a white one, and they're just like, whoa. Mysterious, dreamy. Like I said, you're different. You have that difference. You have that uniqueness. You have that authenticity about you. Look at this cat, how he's looking at that cat. Like I said, people just look at you and they're just like, whoa. Like they've never seen anyone like you before. Totally entranced. This is why you're attractive, because you're different. Because you're uniquely yourself. This is what makes you so attractive. I love that, guys. 
And again with the fruit, so that'll be that healthy eating. For sure. Like, I'm, I'm confirming that again. And then we got... The emergency card. So you're attractive because they see you as a somebody who can save their money. Somebody who's good with money. This is very attractive to others, especially other suitors. They're like, okay, this is not somebody who's going to go blow their whole check. You have a savings. You are able to invest in yourself. Um, also with the word emergency there, you're good in emergencies. Like I said, you rise above those problems. You handle emergencies very well. You are prepared, whether that be in the physical world or the emotional world. You are prepared for emergencies. You handle these things very well. Um, you're well thought out. Okay, next is wisdom. Inner wisdom nourishes the skills necessary to see through all possibilities. So just, you are somebody who's on the journey probably to discovering yourself. And by knowing yourself, you gain so much wisdom. So you are probably on the path of discovering yourself, the spiritual path possibly. Um, but it's just through your experiences, through your inner work, and the wisdom that you've gained along your way is what draws others to you. They want to know what you know as well. They want to know your stories. They want you to share your experiences, your wisdom. Uh, let's look at a physical attribute, possibly like different colored hair as well. Two different color hair there. Um, as well as boots. See, these boots are emphasized like knee-high boots. People, if you're a girl, this is super attractive. People love this value, is that knee-high boot look. But again, with the uniqueness, the authenticity, but the wisdom. People are attracted to your wisdom, the things that you've learned and acquired over the years. Thank you. Yeah, people are thankful for you. People are attracted to you because you're thankful. You're grateful. You are somebody who looks at all the blessings in life and you think you're, 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 you're thankful for your wisdom. So which also means you're thankful for your trials because your trials is what gave you that wisdom, that experience that caused you to kind of go within and heal from this. And yeah, just your thankful, grateful nature. People are attracted to you because they just want to thank you for being you. Like you're loved. You're definitely loved and admired. Okay, then you got love yourself. So people are attracted to you because you love yourself. You truly, truly do. And I already knew that because it said like the authenticity, the differences, how you're able to be uniquely yourself. So I'm not surprised that you love yourself. You love yourself enough to not care what others think. And this makes you so attractive. People love your confidence. That was another word that came out, that authority. You, people might say you're full of yourself in a sense, but that is true. You are full of love for yourself. And that's beautiful. You may have beautiful tan skin or dark skin or long brown curly wavy hair as well. So this could be a confirmation for some of you and people love this. They're very attractive about attracted to you due to this. Yeah, just the fact that you got the confidence, you love yourself. Physical attributes are harder for me to pull out of the cards, so be patient with me, y'all. All right, we got changed everything. The fact that you love, when you loved yourself, that's what changed everything. That's when you became more attractive. So the day you loved yourself, everyone was just drawn to you. That moment you realized that you are amazing. You realize your worth and your value and that you deserve it all and gain that deep love for yourself that's the moment it changed everything and everyone was drawn to you that moment everybody that was the game changer you are a game changer that's why people are drawn to you because you're different and you're not like the rest so you'll come up with new ideas victory Wow, people see you as maybe like high class because there's a lot of gold here. So you may present yourself as very high class or kind of royal-like, but that authority, like I said. Um, 
victory. You're attractive because you are seen as a victory. You are looked at as like victory. You are looked at as like a prize. People are attracted to you because they see you as the prize. The ultimate. Um, someone who really has worked on themselves. Who's really achieved victories in their life. Maybe this is milestones and successes that you've had. And this makes you very attractive. Because you know how to go after and get what you want. And then we got ghost. You're attractive because like I said you're mysterious. Um, but also with ghost, I'm feeling like you're not afraid to ghost people. So people know that if they do you wrong, you're out. Bye. See ya. Like, you're not afraid to ghost people. And people find this attractive because they realize, okay, this is somebody that knows their value. They're not going to stick around if I treat them bad. They're gone. So you're very attractive because you have boundaries. And you know what, who you are and what you deserve. And you know you're valuable, which makes you more valuable, which makes others even more drawn to you and more attracted to you because you have this knowing of your value. And you're not afraid to ghost. Ghost people. You're not afraid of it. You're not afraid to do it. Because you know what's best for you. Okay, then we have storm fields. You're attractive because I see, like, I don't know what I was thinking of this, but you can be kind of chaotic sometimes. You can be kind of like a storm and you go in and you shake things up for people and uh, whatever it is, your energy is very intense. Okay, it's like you, like this tornado here, it's like you walk into a room and everything just wraps around you. Um, like people, you like everyone swarms you. You're very popular, very wanted, very... Uh, very well, popular I guess the word would be whether you know it or not even if people don't storm you their eyes are on you everything's circling around you things are attracted to you in your field and I also got off of this you're not afraid to destroy things if necessary if they're if you need to start from scratch and just kind of like the tower moment the tower energy maybe you have Mars energy within you Scorpio Aries but you're not afraid to destroy and start again you're not afraid of endings endings are no problem for you and you will help push it along if necessary kind of have a little bit of a war spirit a little bit and then we got game changer yeah I swear I said you was a game changer earlier yeah when it said changed everything yeah you are the game changer because you're different so things are gonna change things won't change if everybody remains the same and does all the same things how is anything going to change if we always all continue to do the same things and say the same things so you are the game changer the trendsetter the different one and that's what the beauty is of being different. Everybody looks at being different as negative, but it's actually one of the most beautiful things because for one, you're truly being yourself, but for two, you're creating new experiences, ideas, because you change things. Change cannot be done when we are remaining the same. So love you guys, and I'm so glad you're here. And then we got no place like home. So... <laughs> people you're attractive because like first thing I got is like you're like home you have a home like presence you help people feel like they belong but you're also attractive because it's kind of like you're in your head a lot daydreamy you dream a lot of things you're able to bring thoughts and ideas that you have in your head and kind of bring that light back down to the world you shine your light you're kind of a, see things above the rest um did you guys have let me look if you guys had this card i was thinking about earlier i don't know but yeah you guys are able to kind of soar above the it, the issues the problems kind of see things from a higher perspective but also you have that homey nature you make people feel like home and they're just comfortable be like ah you know that feeling you get when you're at home with with your parents or at your parents house or wherever you grew up and you know, that place that you feel like is home you give people that feeling when they're around you they feel comfortable they feel like uh, you know even if they never met you they're just like oh, i know this feeling it's because it's home you give people that feeling and then oh my god i just pulled out the home pay the home collage reading to go with it <laughs> so yeah you got a homey vibe you're probably a very good hostess you probably like excuse me weirdo love um you probably are really good at um 
creating events in your home. Um, home is probably huge for you, home and family, but mostly home. You give people that sense, and they're very attractive to you because of this. Your hospitality, your ability to have gatherings at your home if you do, but you just make people, there's no place like home, and you make people feel like home, so there's nobody like you. Like I said, you're different. You just feel comfortable. People can be themselves around you because they feel comfortable because you're not afraid to be yourself. You're not afraid to be different or quote unquote weird. Um, so that makes people feel comfortable enough to be their quote unquote weird, their selves. All right, last card, romance. So you're attractive because you're just romantic. Male or female, you really uh, love romance. Romantic things, the old fashioned things probably, or whatever romance is to you. This makes you so attractive. People see you and they'll be like, oh, that would, if they value romance and this is what they seek in a relationship, oh, they're drawn to you. Like moth to a flame, but you got two flames. You're drawing them in double quick, okay? So you, people are just pulled in by you. <laughs> they're your romantic nature. Um, your ability to keep romance alive and old traditions, or you just like the little things, you know? The little romantic dinners, um, things of that sort. And then we got one last thing, and it says, she believed she could, she did. So you're attractive because when you believe something, you know you can do it, and you actually do it. You follow through. So you think of something, you tell, you know, it's like you tell others this is what I'm gonna do and you actually do it and not a lot of a lot of people will but you do when you say you're gonna do something you do it and that's what makes you so attractive is that you accomplish what you set out for may not be at the quickest pay as you, pace as you like because I heard like you guys might be impatient for some reason but you always achieve your goals you always get, get what you're seeking Alright guys, if you like this reading, I didn't know it was going to go so long, like 18 minutes, holy crap. You guys are amazing, we need more souls like you so we can create beautiful change in the world. And I love you guys so, so much and just keep being yourself, keep being different, embrace your weirdness, keep, embrace your differences because that's what's changing the world because you are the game changer. Bye.